Hey guys, it's Ann Yorks from The Flower Box, and it is spring, which means it is officially baseball season. Today's tutorial is going to show you how to make several really cute baseball-themed cookies for those team treats, concession stands, or even the awards banquet. I hope you enjoy seeing these, and just remember, with a few tweaks, these could also be great softball cookie favors as well. Let's cookie it up. The Pentagon cookie is going to make two special cookie designs. So let's show you the first one, which is the baseball field. I'm just dropping a small dot of icing straight down from the center point of that Pentagon to create the baseball field. Once I have the baseball field outlined, I'm ready to use the green piping icing and outline the grass. I have a tip number two on my piping bags. Now to finish off the top of the cookie, this is going to be the crowd area where the spectators are and I'm outlining that in white. So let's actually add those spectators first. I'm going to flood in that top section using white icing and I have a little dish of rainbow nonpareils. While that icing is still wet, I'm just going to generously cover that wet icing with the nonpareils. And there you have your crowd that's watching the baseball game. That is really cute. Now we'll flood in the brown, which is the baseball field, and let both of those sections dry before we come back in and flood in the green grass. Now if you're new to cookie decorating and you need some help with icing consistencies like piping and flooding, the two common consistencies, check out that Cookies 101 blog post on flowerbox.com for details on how to make the icing and make it to these two consistencies. So once that entire cookie has a chance to dry, we're going to add the bases. And I'm just using my white flood icing and a scribe to pipe little diamond shaped bases for first, second, and third. I'll also add the pitcher's mound and a home plate at the bottom. Let's take a look at another way to decorate this Pentagon cookie. I'm outlining the entire cookie using white piping icing, tip number two, and I'm going to fill in the cookie generously using that white flood, the 10 second icing. Now I'm going to be stenciling on this cookie, and I know I've mentioned this in previous tutorials, but it's important to have a nice, flat, dry surface before you stencil on the cookie. I typically like to let that dry for four to six hours just so that I don't dent or crack the icing. Now the icing that I'm stenciling, this black icing, is a stiff black icing. I'm just going to generously cover that stencil with the icing, remove the excess, and then I will rock that stencil genie to the side. You don't have to use the Stencil Genie when you're stenciling, but it does really help keep that stencil in place as you're spreading the icing. Add a red border at the end, and this one is good to go. Let's make the baseball mitt. So I'm going to outline this cookie using my brown piping icing, again with tip number two, and I'll leave a little section between the thumb and the forefinger just to allow space for the webbing on the glove. Now notice when I'm flooding in the cookie, I'm not bumping up against the outline like I usually do because I want those pipelines to be visible after the cookie dries. Do your best by just flooding in close and then using your scribe to tap that icing into place. Once that main section has a chance to dry, you can flood in that small little insert using the light brown icing and then you're ready to start adding your details. The webbing in the glove is made super easy by using that wide tip number 44. So I pipe one 
wide line down the center and then two horizontal lines going across and it's such a quick and easy way to pipe that detail and I think it looks really cool. Now we'll add just a little bit of stitching to the fingers on the glove and at the base of the glove as well. If you're looking to recreate these cookies for this set, you can find all of the cookie cutters, the stencil, and even the rainbow nonpareils in the baseball cookie decorating kit on flowerbox.com. It does have all of the cookie cutters and the stencil, and it's a lot of designs, so maybe you just wanna pick one or two if you're making team treats to get started. Now let's take a look at the baseball. I love this cookie because this is such a great favor. Um, it's made super easy. It's two colors with simple piped lines. So we're just outlining and flooding. And then I'll pipe the red laces onto the cookie using red piping icing and tip number two. It really doesn't get much easier than this, but I will say I like to pipe my laces going in alternating directions just to give a realistic look. And when I pipe the point at the V, I do actually touch down on that red line just to keep those laces in place. You can make a ton of those baseball cookies without a lot of stress. Here's another really doable cookie design. This is the baseball bat, and this shape might look familiar. This chubby bat is actually the milk bottle turned on its side. So we're going to outline the handle and the main section of the bat, and we'll start flooding in alternating areas. I do like to flood in the alternating areas so that I don't see any color bleeding or blurriness between those icing areas. So just let that brown icing dry before you come back in and flood in the white flood icing. Now you could add a wood grain to this bat using a food doodler, and I've done that in the past, but because we're doing so many cookie designs, it's okay to keep things simple and just keep a nice solid brown colored bat, no wood grain. Now you could personalize this cookie with a player's name or number. For this video, I'm just going to pipe all star in this section, uh, but this is a great cookie that you can personalize and make for team cookie favors. I have a tip number one on that black icing and I'm just using a really light hand pressure as I pipe out those letters. I like to outline that section in red. It just adds a little bit of color to the brown and the white cookie. And then I'll add some detailed lines on the handle just to add some texture to the cookie as well. Let's take a look at the baseball jersey. One thing I love about this cookie set is that these cookies can be personalized to your team. So feel free to switch up the colors. I'm using red, white, and blue, but you can use your team colors as well. So I piped the collar area and a straight line down the center, and then I'll add two more lines on either side. This just helps me to keep that section where the buttons are in the center of the cookie. I'll also add some cuffs on the sleeve, and then I'm ready to outline the main section of this shirt. I'm going to create a pinstripe jersey, and so I'm flooding in generously the two main sections of the jersey using the royal blue icing. If you like these icing colors, definitely check out the blog post for the baseball kit. It has details on all of the colors used in today's tutorial. 
Now I'm using my white flood icing. I want these stripes to melt down flat into that blue background, but I slipped the flood bag into a clean bag that has a tip number one. Now, if you get an icing break, like I just did, don't panic. You can actually fix these mistakes pretty easily. I'm just going to cover that up with the base color, the blue icing, and let that icing melt down into the base. And that really covers up that mistake. And then I'm ready to come back in with my white flood icing and keep adding those pinstripes. That mistake cleaned up pretty well. Now I definitely wanna keep moving on this icing. Adding these stripes takes a little bit of extra time and I want the icing to be settling down flat into that base color. So it does matter to keep going because otherwise the icing can sit up off of that blue icing and I really want a nice flat surface so that I can add some details to the cookie once it's dry. Now I'll allow both of those large sections of icing to dry for about an hour in front of the fan and I'm going to flood in these smaller white sections. Now if you tend to get cracks or craters in those small icing areas, adding a piped line will help add some structure underneath. I just piped a little line and then I'll flood over it and that will keep those small icing areas looking nice and puffed up. Use your scribe to even out or clean up those lines between the icing areas. Now I'm gonna use an accent color, in this case, the red piping icing, just to add some seams along the cuffs on the sleeves and also along the button section and the collar. I still have tip number one on that black icing and I'm just going to space out some dots going down the center for the buttons on the jersey. Now you could add a number to your jersey or maybe even the logo of your team, but for this particular project, I'm just going to add a star. So I pipe this star with my white icing and then I'll flood it in with my thinner white flood icing, tapping that icing into place to create that nice smooth little star on the chest of the jersey. Let's wrap up this really fun baseball set by showing you how to make the baseball hat. I am outlining the front of the hat using white piping icing, and then I'll outline the brim on the hat and the side panel using the blue icing. Now it's time to flood in those icing areas again. When you have a white icing next to a darker color, it is really helpful to flood in and allow that section to dry for about an hour before flooding in the neighboring sections. This will just reduce or eliminate any color bleeding between those icing areas. I love to flood in nice and generous. It really reduces how much I have to pick up and put down my cookie scribe when I can really use the tip of the flood bag to tap things into place. This is another great cookie for personalization, adding the team name, the player's name, or even a number. Now I wanted a more stylized look to the font, so I actually created a graphic that says All Star. I used PickMonkey.com to create this graphic. They do have free services and it is very easy to use. So if you're looking to create your own custom graphics or fonts for your cookies, check out PickMonkey.com. It's super helpful. But I'm 
popped this graphic into my cookie projector. In this case, I'm keeping it super simple with a copy cake projector and it is projecting that text down onto the cookie so that I can pipe out those letters. Now, because I have a little bit of text in a large area, I'm using a tip number three to pipe those letters. Consistency really matters when it comes to piping text. I have a really nice piping icing consistency that isn't too thin. That will allow those letters to really hold their shape and look nice and pretty once all the letters are piped. Now the hard work is done on that cookie. We just need to add a few details. We'll add a dot of icing on the top of the cap and then I size down to a tip number one to add some seams in white along the front of the hat. And this cookie is ready to go in the game. I hope you guys enjoyed learning how to make all of these different cookies with the baseball theme. Again, if you enjoyed watching this tutorial, definitely check out the blog post with additional details on flowerbox.com. And there you'll also find the cookie decorating kit with all of these cutters, the stencil, the rainbow nonpareils, the tip number 44, and a couple extra tools to make doing these cookies a little bit easier. If you have questions, pop them in the comments and until next time happy decorating